it's a blessing to be here with you today at eat good tv today we are making we are making rice and peas and it's tin tin peas so we have tin peas here with the tin coconut milk with the grace coconut milk and we have goya kidney beans we are going to make rice and peas but you can use any brand of your choice but we have grace and we have goya here and here we have chicken the chicken is gonna make with tambourine. I don't know if you hear tambourine or no tambourine, but it's the chicken is gonna make into a sweet tambourine sauce. And here we have the rice, we have string bean and carrot and cabbage. We're gonna make vegetable. And we have our scallion and onion, and we have our all-purpose season. I'm only gonna use all-purpose season because the other season will change the taste of the the tamarind sauce. Okay. And this is the tamarind right here. Oh, and this is the tamarind right here. Oh, yes, Jet. This is the tamarind right here. Don't forget, I cannot get the regular tamarind, so I have to use the, these tamarind balls to make the tamarind sauce. First, I'm going to blend a half of can of peas. So you put a half a can of peas to blend it for the color, because we're going to need the color in our rice and peas half so you can blend it here you can blend it or you can crush it so i'm just gonna blend it so we're gonna pour it in the pot to give it that nice color Okay, so that'll give the rice color. The rice color. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it won't be white? So it won't be white, yes. Okay. We have a nice rice and peas, okay? So we're gonna pour this in. And then we're gonna add our tin of milk. I'm gonna add a tin of milk. I need something to cut the milk. Then we pour our coconut milk in. So it's a tin and a half of peas. One tin and a half. And then we are gonna season it and put it on the stove. And this is molasses. Molasses is made from sugar. So one tablespoon of molasses. And then add all your seasoning. This is pimento allspice, scotch, a half of scotch bonnet pepper, all purpose seasoning, scallion, thyme, oh the thyme is here, scallion, thyme, and a piece of onion. Just add, I, I put the recipe in the description box. Just add everything in. And then you're gonna cook it for 15 minutes. And the molasses make it very delicious. And you're gonna cook it for 15 minutes. Then you add your rice. Cover and cook for 15 minutes on medium heat. Now it's 15 minutes, I'm gonna add the rice. And this is about five cups of water. So I'm gonna put four cups of rice. Five cups of water. Four cups of rice and the rice is washed and clean and I like rice I like onion in the rice you know some people don't like the onion in the rice but I put the onion for flavor I like a lot of flavor in the rice and peas Put your fire on medium and once it's boiling up, then you turn it down to low. 
there you have it it's all nice from the tin and the coconut milk and everything and this is your rice and peas no one will ever know if they come visit you that they make you make it from the tin they're just gonna eat it and enjoy it and with the little molasses in it make the color even richer and make it more tastier with the molasses with the one tablespoon of molasses and this is rice and peas nice rice and peas nice rice and peas look at it nice rice and peas no one can tell it's made from the tin let me have a taste of it mm. so 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 delicious 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 mm, mm, mm. So good. You can video a scotch bonnet. Put this. This is a clean scotch bonnet. Put it right here. So so good. We are gonna season the chicken, just with some all-purpose seasoning. And this one, you can use any all-purpose seasoning. This one is Island Spice all-purpose season. So I'm just gonna season chicken with some all-purpose and all purpose have everything inside of it so i'm just gonna use about a tablespoon and a half because i'm gonna add the tamarind sauce to the chicken so i don't want to put too much garlic powder onion powder and all that type of seasoning so i just season it with a small amount of all purpose seasoning because i'm just gonna fry it and then I'm gonna add the tamarind sauce and I wash it it's nice and clean and I remove all the skin because I'm not gonna flour it I'm just gonna fry it and this is an old recipe when I used to go to Balaclava secondary in St. Elizabeth now it's called Roger Clark High School this is where I learned to do the tamarind chicken Let this marinate for an hour. Overnight is best. I don't have the regular tamarind, but I have this one and it's tamarind ball. So I'm just gonna remove the seed. seed so I'm just gonna pour some water in. About two, three cups of water. And I'm just gonna remove the seed. If there's any seed in it, I'm not so sure. Cause some of them come with seed and some come without seed. I just want to remove all the seed to make the sauce. As the seed, just have to remove them. And if you use any regular tam tamarind, just add sugar. Cut, but this one comes with sugar. So this is how the seed look. You remove all the seeds. So the tambourine sauce is like any type of sauce, any type of sauce, like barbecue sauce, ketchup, um, and teriyaki, teriyaki sauce, any type of sauce. So this is just called tambourine sauce. So you're gonna boil, I'm gonna, you're gonna, I'm gonna show you just boil it down. And it's about four cups of water you use to just boil this down. And I'm gonna add the seasoning into the sauce to put over the chicken. It's very delicious. If you have the fresh tambourine that you pick from the tree, do it the same way with the water and then just add some sugar to it to make the sauce. This is very thick, but I'm going to strain it because sometimes pulp inside of it. You can use it with the pulp if you want to, but I'm going to strain it. I just strain it in the pot. And this is the pulp with some seed in it. So I don't want that in it. I just want a smooth sauce. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Then you're gonna put what scallion? Some and... scallion, some chi finely chopped scallion and onion and garlic. You know everything fresh go inside of it. 
And you don't want to flavor it too much and it, the taste of the tamarind is gone. Okay. okay. So you're going to like what? A little thyme? And a little butter. Thyme? thyme and yeah. Not too much. But a little of everything. You know, like scotch bonnet, pepper, thyme, scallion, and onion. Pimento maybe? And some, some um, grind pimento. Okay. Yeah, you put it inside of here. Okay. And that and you cook it down. You yeah. cook it a little more thick to put on the chicken. Oh, when you okay. fry the chicken, yeah. You're gonna add it to it. Okay. To the That's, sauce. That sounds good. Yeah. Alright. So this is something new for you. <laughs> yeah, I never heard of this. Yeah. Okay. Place your chicken in the pot for frying. When it's golden on one side, just flip it over to the next side. I think this is not important to show, but you have to show everything. My last chicken I did just to show. I have to show everything. Once it's golden on one side, flip it over. And once the next side is golden, then we are going to remove it and put it in the sauce. In here I have thyme, scallion, half a scotch bonnet pepper, and a half an onion. So I'm just going to place it in the tamarind sauce. And it's just finely chopped. And one piece of garlic. Now that the sauce is cooked for 15 minutes, add your chicken to the pot. Cover the pot and let the chicken continue cooking. This is smelling up the place. Let me taste it. Let me have a taste of this goodness. I haven't tasted this in years. Oh, wow. Let me have a taste of this goodness. Wow. It's hot like hot, hot, hot. Oh, this is so good and it's smelling up the place. Wow. Mm. I at least I have this in years yet. Many years. Let me have a taste of it. This is so, so good. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Mm -mm. Look at the sauce, check. You see the sauce? Yeah. Oh, yes. Nice and thick. The sauce is just nice and thick. Okay, nice and thick. And you're gonna add a little piece of butter. Small tiny piece, cause butter make everything better. Yes, nice and saucy. I'm gonna put a piece of butter. Here's the butter. Butter make everything better. So I'm gonna melt this piece of butter right here. Make everything better. When it melts, I'm gonna just pour it all over. We are going to make some cabbage, string bean, and carrot. So I'm get, going to get them all washed and cut. And just remove the top layer of the cabbage because most time is there the spray. 
is spray the cabbage so we can just remove the top layer of the cabbage so we just remove yeah. so we can get our nice cabbage inside here oh from the insecticide from the what insecticide yes mm -hmm. that's why we have to remove the top layer yeah that's a spray and this this the string bean i'm just gonna wash them and french cut them and the carrot i'm just gonna julian the carrots and i'll be right back to i'm gonna wash it and i'm gonna come back and cut it I use half of the carrot and half of the cabbage and I'm gonna steam it for just 15 minutes. Add two tablespoons of olive oil to the pot to put the vegetable. Add the vegetable to the pot. And I'm gonna cook this for about 10 15 minutes. I like it a little crunchy. For 10 15 minutes, I'm gonna cook this for. I'm gonna add some onion, fresh, some onion and garlic to it. Some fresh onion, some fresh garlic, some scallion, a little bit of thyme. I'm going to steam the cabbage. So I'm adding some all-purpose seasoning and some onion. And a small amount of allspice, grind allspice. And some scallion and some butter. And I'm just gonna let it steam. Add a small amount of butter, and this is the butter I add. Smart balance. Yes, yeah, smart balance. It has omega three and whatever in it. Okay. And it's a healthy butter. Or you can add ghee. You have ghee butter here too. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you want to add ghee, add ghee. You just add it to it and then you're gonna cover it and just let it steam for like about 10 15 minutes want it nice and crunchy there you have it family your sweet tamarind chicken and your rice and peas bye from ego tv love you wish you all the best bye